Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tech Supper channel. Today, in this video, I am going to explain about Oracle Cloud Apps extension with the help of Oracle VB. I will explain why do you need to create Oracle, Oracle Cloud App extensions and what are the various ways to create apps extensions. So guys, before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. Let's begin and understand the Oracle Cloud application extensions. So why and when you need to extend your Oracle application? As you know, Oracle application is the SaaS application which comes with so many out of the box functionalities. As you also know, whatever is delivered by Oracle SaaS, you have to use as is, but at the same time, customer may have different requirements to fulfill from that SaaS application. They cannot run the application as is. It's always required to create some or do some customization on top of the functionality that we are getting from any one of the products. So Oracle apps, Oracle says, gives you the flexibility to create customizations on top of the functionality that is delivered out of the box by the product. So that's the, that is the reason we create extensions on top of the functionalities that is delivered by Oracle says. So you can fulfill all your custom requirements. Maybe you have one page in the SaaS application which you would like to customize. Maybe you would like to hide some page. You would like to rename the label of your columns. You would like to shuffle some columns. You would like to hide some columns. You would like to change the UI of the application. You would like to update the flow. Maybe you would like to create the address before you create your basic information, you would like to change the user experience depending on the user device. Maybe you would like to render five pairs when user log in from the desktop and you would like to random, random only two fields when user logs in from the mobile. Or you, you need to create a few new pages altogether. Maybe you would like to, you don't want to use the custom supplier page to create a new supplier. You would like to create a new page that will have a, a, a few fields, not the plethora of fields that you have in the seeded page. And you can develop a mashup application that will take the data from your SaaS as well as from other third party application. So there are various reasons why you need to create extensions on top of the functionalities that is being delivered by the product itself. So with the help of Oracle VB, you can customize the existing pages or you can create the new pages or you can create the complete applications altogether. So now uh, we need to know what are the various ways to create extensions. So now the first is to use Oracle VB Studio, which comes by default with each and every Oracle SES. Every Oracle application test instance shipped by default with Oracle VB Studio for your customization. So you have to go to the configuration and you will find out the visual builder. Of course, the developer should have access of this visual builder. Then they can click and the visual builder studio would be open using which you can customize the existing pages or you can create the new application altogether. And customer don't need to pay any extra cost to use that visual builder. It is only limited to extend Oracle apps. So all the functionalities that you have in Oracle apps you can extend that. It is not like if you would like to communicate with external application, though you can do this, but in a limited way, it's not full fledged VB that comes as a with Oracle cloud infrastructure. 
So any customer who would like to do the customization using Oracle VB that comes with Oracle SaaS application, they can use this true tool, which is available inside that tool. The second is create a standalone Oracle VB from Oracle, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So you have to spin up a new Oracle integration or VB instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And of course, that will be extra cost. And this is a full blown product using which you can extend any application with full functionality. You can extend Oracle Fusion as well as other SaaS application and you can create a complete mashup application that you would like to create. But with the visual builder that comes with Oracle apps, it will not give you the full fledged functionality, meaning, meaning technical wise it is same, but it limits to extend only Oracle apps. But with the standalone, standalone Oracle VB, you can create any kind of customization. Now let us discuss what is the difference between VB that comes with Oracle apps versus a standalone VB. So the VB with, which comes with Oracle apps. So you will see a button from your profile icon called added page in Visual Builder Studio. Every page that is created using VB inside the Oracle can be customized using that option added page in Visual Builder Studio. The second option, you can create new extension altogether, meaning new pages. So added page in Visual Builder Studio, meaning you would like to create or you would like to update the existing page, new application extension, meaning you would like to create the complete new extensions. The second is a standalone VB. So this is standalone VB is a full fledged VB using which you can create the fully customized application that can interact with any one of the external applications. Okay, so here, let us discuss what are the customization that you can do with Oracle apps using VB. So first thing first, you can modify the existing pages. So all the pages developed using VB can be customized. So this Oracle says application was created initially in Oracle ADF, but later few of the modules has been redeveloped using VB and Oracle is slowly rebuilding the complete app SaaS application via VB. So as of now, whatever application pages, I will say pages has been redeveloped in VB, you can customize. So how would you recognize which page is developed in VB? So when you open any page, you will notice the URL of the page. So if you find Redwood in the page URL, if you will find Redwood in the page URL, meaning this page is developed in Redwood, and then you can use edit page in Visual Builder Studio that will open the same page in VB Studio to customize. The option edit in Visual Builder, open Visual Builder Studio to customize the page functionality. For example, in this, picture, you see we have filter icon, advanced filter. So you want to hide that advanced filter. So you will open that connection page and you will say, you will open this in Visual Builder Studio and will say, hey, show and hide search. When you uncheck this, then this will be hidden. So customization is limited and controlled by Oracle. So Oracle is deciding what all functionality can be customized. It's not like you can customize everything. It is completely controlled by Oracle and it is upgrade safe also. For example, you are using 24.02 says and you have done some customization. So will the customization that you have will be flushed out when Oracle will upgrade your says no. Oracle will take care and all the customization that you have done will be intact. So typical modifications include like you can show and hide fields like I would like to hide that. You can show and hide frame. So let's suppose this is my frame connection frame that I would like to hide completely. 
I would like to reorder the fields. Let's say I would like to shuffle the fields from first name to last name, last name to first name. You can modify the display of the fields, meaning you would like to change the positioning or you would like to change the label of the fields. You can conditionally show fields. For example, if a user falls in a particular role, show that field, else does not show. Calculated fields. You can create some calculated fields also. You can add content to the area. You can add extra fields to a page. So you can do all those custom modifications in the existing pages. So again, remember, all those customizations are limited and controlled by Oracle. Now you can develop the new pages altogether. For example, I don't want to customize the existing page. However, I would like to create a new application. So you can create a new application extension with the help of PP Studio, and that will depend on, on some uh, base application. So you can develop the new pages and application from the scratch. You can run your application in the Oracle application context only. So it is accessible to all the cloud app users and you can control who can access and who cannot. So you can do the security as well. So you can access data from Oracle cloud applications with the help of REST APIs. You can also create your custom objects using App Composer and those custom objects can be called inside that extensions. You can also call REST APIs created using Oracle Integration Cloud. You can also call external REST APIs, but only the API which is non-secured or authenticated via IDCS token only. If you have OAuth or, or let's say resource owner, client credentials, basic authentication, all those policies are not supported when you create a service connection with the external REST API inside that VP Studio. You can develop visually in VP Studio. You can publish apps using CI CD pipeline. Now, when you create the VB application or the extension, you also leverage the existing Oracle application roles because it is the same identity of VB as SAS. And it will have all the users and the roles that you have in your Oracle apps. Same users and same roles. It render layouts based on the existing Oracle application roles. App security based on the Oracle apps role. So you can control who can do what in your customizations, meaning who can see what. So this is how your application app extension architecture looks like. So you would have the development environment, which is called VB Studio, which your development team would have access to. And they can leverage the complete VB Studio functionality like they can build the pages using visual development environment. They can create tasks. They can use the inbuilt Git repository for check-in, check-out to maintain. They can have the complete continuous integration, continuous development. Anybody, the manager can review your code before it is published. They can maintain the wiki also. So we have various tools in the VB Studio that control our application development. And your runtime is, of course, your SaaS only. So your customization will be hosted on the same environment as your Oracle SaaS. And it is developed via JAT only. So guys, that's all about this Oracle Cloud application. I for extensions, I hope you find this video useful and it gives you some insights about Oracle application extension. And in further videos, we will see how do we do the customization inside Oracle SaaS with the help of PB Studio. Thanks for watching and I will request again everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed earlier. Thanks for watching. Good day. Bye-bye.